I attended the JIC last night and heard that they were going to possibly move their plant to the south side. And one of my ideas was perhaps a mountain bike trail system. Uh, I've been to Black River Falls down there looking at their, their waste site. It's not something I want to mountain bike on. It's flat, there's no trees, it doesn't grow any vegetation. I've mountain biked up in Marquette. They have an awesome trail system, but none of them are on waste piles. So I think a mountain bike trail option, if it were to be, it would have to be on the south side of the ridge. Something with a lot of terrain and rocky technical stuff. And I don't know how you, I mean, the, the plans, like Tracy said, they're in flux. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to like have this discussion about whatever, any interest group, whether it's, whether it's the United Sportsmen that want a shooting range or the ATV clubs that want a, you know, a fun park like they have down in Shawano. We really need to have an honest conversation with GTAC about where they're going, what they're doing, and then how does that reclamation, how do we work together? It seems like we're not working together and we need a, a common vision, a common plan. Because we, as we get to this point that Tom said where there is a reclamation idea, it's not just going to be four people in this room, it's going to be multiple groups wanting access to that land. And we're going to have to figure out that balance for that land. You know, and you bring up some good points with, with mountain biking. That's really an in thing right now. But we don't know 15 years from now, that might not be the tourism thing. So again, I think we need to leave those options open for future committees and future boards, but we need to shape that land so that there's a lot of options available. And I because we don't know in 15 years, people may not be interested in mountain biking anymore. Even now with the ATVs, they're switching over the side by side. And I appreciate your comment, but I believe I had three minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. And I, and I'm sorry for interrupting before, but you, you're a great chair. And you demand specifics, and you demand the law. And so when you say an elected official, I don't know if it's Mike Sari that said that. I don't know if it's Joe Pinardi that said it. So please be specific when you're addressing those things. And when you're talking about that, I don't think Janet Bewley was referring to 295. I believe she was referring to the wetlands bill. And if you recall, when GTAC introduced its first bill, AB 426, that wetlands bill and 295 were together. So please, please be specific. Okay. And, and speaking, speaking of specifics, I was on the phone with Charlie Ortman today, and I was able to go into Mike Sari's office and take a look at the four plans that he had. You just told us there were six. Earlier this afternoon, there were only four plans available to the public, so I didn't even get to review two of the six you just suggested. Oh, I'm sorry. And I was able I was able to get the minutes from the March meeting. And you passed a motion there. Number three was to solicit public input on our own and not through the joint impact committee meetings. And I remember that passed unanimously. I got a copy of the letter that your legal representative sent the JIC. No Brett. This is for reclamation ideas. Yeah. This is so for reclamation ideas. Are you getting to a reclamation idea? you stop interrupting me, please. I think I would No, I'm, I'm redirecting you, sir. And I would uh, expect you to be a little more polite. And I expect you to be a little more polite. Okay. Recognize my three minutes, please. I, I need I to open up left. the I need to open up the floor to people outside of Iron County. Okay, well, if there's no further comments, we'll we will move on.